Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna walk through this legal problem search situation system. Uh, I'm gonna solve this problem using two methods. Uh, one is the uh, binary search. Another one is uh, uh, the try. I will use try first because that's more intuitive. Uh, binary search is a little bit, it's a more a uh, more creative way, a bit, maybe a little bit uh, faster. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm gonna go through the try. Uh, method first and then secondly will be the binary search. So this question was asked by mostly Amazon. So in the past six months, this question was asked by uh, 28 times. So it's, it was pretty popular. So let's walk through an uh, example in here. Um, we are given a list of products, uh, mobile, house, money pot, monitor, uh, house pad. And the word that, that we are searching for was mouse. And uh, notice that uh, we have one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, five character in the, in this uh, mouse keyword, uh, search word. So that's why in the return list, we will have uh, five output, one, two, three, four, five. And so the first output correspond to the first, uh, uh, the prefix of the first, uh, so let me try again. It's a prefix that consists of the only the first character. And also uh, we have to return a answer that is only containing um, three products with a common prefix. And uh, they have to be sorted, uh, lexicographically sorted. So um, for this, answer in here this correspond to the uh, three product that comes from the products list and they all of them have the same prefix also they are sorted and then for the second answer um, they have the same prefix once again but that prefix will compare to the first prefix which is only have a single character which is m now the second prefix, we have two characters with MO. And as you can see, all of them has the same prefix as MO. And also they, have, they are sorted. And once again, maximum three, okay? And for the third output will be MOU for the prefix. So both of these answer have the MOU. And um, once again, sorted. And the next one will be MOUS, same. M-O-U-S and M-O-M-M-O-U-S-E, right? So most of them have the same prefix of M-O-M-M-O-U-S-E and uh, once again, sorted. So yeah, that explanation just basically uh, explains what I um, just explained. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's solve it by using a try because that's to me, that was my, um, the first solution come to my mind. I think that's the most intuitive. So uh, for a try, we first uh, have a uh, try note as a class. So that's a class within the solution class. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, we can put it outside, but it's up to you. Um, so uh, the way that we build it, uh, there are multiple ways to build a try. One is using a list. Another one is using a set. Uh, here I'm using a nested dictionary. Uh, for, for example, uh, for the first guy over here, uh, first for the product, which is mobile, and uh, we will have a nested nest dictionary, uh, the key being the, the character that we're looking at and the value being uh, another dictionary. That's why we call it a nested dictionary. So for example, mobile, so the first key will be M and then the value will be another dictionary, which looks like this. And then the, and then we find that second dictionary the key will be o which is the second character for mobile and the value will be uh, another dictionary so it goes on right so first m o second o uh, third one is b and next one is i etc go all the way so this is an again nesting dictionary i couldn't uh say uh it no it, couldn't say enough about this because this, that's the key how we build a try note in this example and also, uh, we have a, another, uh, attribute, uh, for this uh, class, which is a suggestions. So basically, uh, I say, um, suggestion that come, 
uh, for each of the nodes. For example, uh, for M, we will have a suggestion, a suggested word, uh, maximum three for M. And the next one with MO. And then we will have a suggested word for MO. And also MOB, same thing. Uh, I, I will walk through all what I mean by that later on. Uh, but this is something that uh, we have built for this tri node. And also uh, to serve these suggestions, we can add suggestion to it, right? So uh, maximum three, that's why we have this condition here. And then we append the suggested word to the list, okay? So let's dive into the main uh, content, how we, after we uh, build this uh, uh, class architect, architecture, and then now we uh, dive into how to implement it. So uh, first we have a, a root. I think uh, a good diagram is in the solution. Uh, in the official solution here, um, we can see a root. And for example, the words is him, her, his, team, and hi. As you can see, root is the very top. And then you can uh, and dissect the different characters, right? And for example, uh, on the right hand side here is the team, so corresponding to this word. And uh, he, sorry, not he, it should be her on the left hand side over here, and then his, and then him. So basically, um, again, we will implement this using a nest dictionary. I think this is a good. Illustration on how we build the intuition behind the tri node. So, first we have the root, which corresponds to this guy over here at the top, uh, which is the root of everything. And uh, secondly, we will sort the product uh, list because we have to return, when we return it, we have to uh, return a lexicographical order. That's why we need to sort it. And uh, first thing that comes to my mind will be after we sort it, will be the uh, time complexity will be over N. Uh, equals to n log n, right? Because we're sorting it. So for all the product in the products um, list, and um, the current node that we're looking at, the first current node will be the root node that we're pointing to. For all the character in the product, for example, the first product will be uh, mobile. And then we loop through uh, all the character and then build the, the try. For example, uh, first current node will be pointing to the root, second current node will be pointing to the M, third one will be pointing to the O, uh, the, the, the next one we can point it to the B. So we keep um, loop through the character and then build up our try. So this is how we uh, build up our, our nested dictionary. And then we add the suggestion. So suggestion will be the product keyword. So uh, let me show you, uh, I think it's more straightforward to look it up. So uh, for example, mobile right here, right? So this is our try. Each one has this the nested dictionary. This is the first level. Well, first level will be the root or we can call the root will be the level number zero. So sec first level will be M, second level will O, uh, o. Third, there will be B, I, next one, L, and E. And then all the suggestion will be correspond to each of the, of the character. And then when we look at the next product, which is a money part, right? And then again, we loop through all the character. I mean, the, the M note will be the same M note that we had before. And then because of for the same, for that reason, uh, we will have the two different suggestions. Maximum suggestion will be three, right? And then the next one will be uh, the N, no, the, the O comes after the M, which is the same uh, for the mobile. And that's why we have the same, we append to the uh, same suggestion list. The next one is different, okay? So this is the another branch. But different from the MOB, now it's MON. So it's, that's why we have a brand new suggestion, which is money part. Originally, we have a mobile. So we uh, keep doing it until we uh, build up in the, in the entire tree, a try tree. So I'm going to comment this out because we don't need it no more. And after that, uh, so before we go in further, we, uh, I would like to analyze the time complexity right away. So uh, it will be the big O. 
of uh, the time complexity will be all total number of characters in the products list, right? Because we first look through all the products, secondly, look through all the character within all the products, each of the products. So after that, let's um, look at the search search word. And uh, we need to bring back ourselves to the uh, the root node, which is at the, at the top, uh, which over here. How should we do that? Is just pointing to the current node back to the root, which is we define over here. And then we have the result list for all the search character in the search word. The current node equal to the current node of child. So this is basically how we. It's the same thing over here. It's how we access to the try to see each of the prefix. And, uh, and then we look at the suggestion for the prefix by appending to the result. Okay. Let's run that. Works. And uh, for the time complexity for this part, um, will be on the big O of the length of the search word, is depending on how many characters that we're looking at. So um, in total, uh, the time complexity will be O n log n plus this part and then plus this part. And depend on which one's dominating. Uh, but uh, this is my analysis for the time complexity. For the space complexity will be the number of a unique um, character because we have to build a try tree. That's why we need to know how many unique character in the products uh, list. Okay, so that's one method uh, which is used uh, the uh, the try method. The next one I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna solve this problem by using the binary research which is a bit more creative. And honestly, this method didn't come to me until I look at the solution, uh, because the first method came to my mind again, it was the try method. This is uh, slightly uh, faster. So uh, same as the pi method, we have to sort the products, uh, again, uh, time complexity. And uh, we look at the prefix, uh, which we initiate as an empty list, empty string. And then we also have a result list, um, same setting as before. For all the search character in the search word, so we look to each of the character and immediately that comes to me that this will be um well uh this we use this is where we use the binary search and uh, uh the com time complexity for binary search will be log n and then we do that uh k times so the entire time complexity will be k times log n and k being the length of the keyword so how, depending on how many character that we have for the search word and um, we have to add it together first because we have to sort it first and then do the uh, this for loop, these two for loops here. And this is not very time consuming, uh, which I will uh, walk through with you uh, later. So uh, that's, it feels a bit strange that I an analyze uh, the time complexity first because I think that's easier for me uh, to keep track of uh, uh, the time complexity, but it's up to you, you can analyze at the end. Um, anyway, so let's dive into the algorithm to help see how it works. So uh, first we append uh, the search word to the prefix that we initialized uh, as an empty string uh, at the beginning. So basically, let me go back to here. So the first prefix will be uh, M, second one will be MO, MOU, etc. And then now where, this is where we apply the binary search. So basically we insert uh, the prefix from the left. And this is text yeah, log n. So I think it's a bit easier to just print it off. And uh, I'm printing off the sorted list for product. Also, I'm printing off the prefix, also the inserting precision, um, which is the output of the binary search. So let me, let me uh, output that. Um, so this is way it confuses me at the first times. Um, so uh, the sorted list is looks like uh, so this is input right after we sort it looks like this so mobile money part a monitor mouse mouse, a mouse pad okay and the first prefix again will be m and mo mou mous mouse and this is the index which at which we will insert from the left so uh we have a prefix of m so we will insert to the the zeros index mo also at the zeros index. MOU will be at the third index, which is the fourth place. Zero, one, two, three, right? 
MOU will insert here, and then this one will go to the left. So uh, we will shift to the left. So be, and after we shifting it, it will be um, well, the bias research won't do the shifting. Just you will figure out the index and will not do it in place. By the way, so MOU will be in here. MOUS will be in here. MOUSE also will be in here, which is the same as this word. And uh, because we insert it from the left, that's why you have a higher priority than the word that is already in the list. And and then because we are only on look at the three um, product that matches up with the um, prefix, so that's why we only look at uh, again this one has been sorted. This is to our advantage. Look at the insert precision, also the insert precision plus three, because we only look at the three product. And then we do some comparison, right? If that matches up with the, so we apply the method, the string method of the stars with, with the prefix that we're looking at, which will increase one character at a time. And then we append that to the TAM list, which it is empty for each of the prefix. And then we append maximum three products to it. And then at the end, we append the TAM to the result and then at the end we just return the result so the most confusing part and most creative part was the how to figure out the insert possession by using binary research i was very really amazed when i was uh come across this solution so anyway let's run that see looks uh, a bit more efficient than the pi method that we had before uh for the try so this there you have it. Uh, this is my solution to this problem. I hope this is helpful. If it is, please like and subscribe. That will be a huge support. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.